vain visibility. Love, patient cooperation. Zero. Stakes? Only life or death. <sighs> Peripheral intravenous catheter. Yeah, you see, insertion is a routine medical procedure where medications or fluids are introduced into the bloodstream through a small flexible tube inserted into a vein with a needle. Around 50 million PIVCs are sold annually in the USA. It is one of the most commonly performed medical procedures. In urgent care situations, infants typically undergo this procedure with little first take success due to their anatomically small and fragile veins, meaning multiple insertion attempts are required to administer critical, potentially life saving medications. When DIVs depends, clinicians often have no choice but to resort to more invasive methods, like drilling into the bone to access the flesh. These procedures are costly, traumatic, and can delay life saving treatment. That's why training matters. Our objective is to guide practitioners and give practical feedback such that they can perfect their techniques and gain confidence during the procedure. We accomplished this by facilitating an augmented reality environment, combining the benefits of virtual simulators and physical training kits. The simulator delivers a two-step training program. First, collect expert procedural data offline, then use that data to train and assess trainees through realistic simulation. The tracking algorithm detects the pose of the Aruka markers in real time, providing the position and orientation of the center of the dodecahedron. Using matrix transformations, the pose of the dodecahedron can be translated to the tip of the IV. The live data is then compared to the expert's data, which is saved on a backend database. If the user is within the standard deviation of the expert data, then the user's performance is deemed acceptable. Otherwise, the user will be notified and prompted with directional indicators to return within the range. During the procedure, the trainee will be guided through the simulation by selecting which vein and which insertion location they'd like to choose. The user will then be introduced to the augmented reality feedback display. The display hosts two widgets on the left side of the screen indicating the current angle and elevation of the IV. On the right side of the display is the mean and standard deviation of the expert trajectories plotted alongside the live data. The user is prompted with directional cues overlaid with the vein, guiding the user through the procedure. When the simulation is complete, the user will receive a final score by assessing the similarity between the expert and trainee's trajectories. The combination of these instructional mechanisms, from live to post-procedure feedback, provide a seamless training experience.